of the follow-up lesson to the parts of uh, the Wizard of Menlo Park. Right, we have these diminished chords that you can move every three frets, which is like an inversion of the same chord. So I'm using this F diminished back and forth to create some tension um, and some build-up and some melodic ideas. So to the G minor, and I do this hammer-on thing on the octave note. That. And then the second time I do a run, like a, like a little line. And it's all palm muted. Like that, so. Last time we're going to use the diminished to go up to the chorus section. So the chorus section uses a lot of the same chords, but I kind of wanted to go higher to create some lift for the chorus, right? So here's the F minor, and the C minor, and the G minor. And the chorus is just a pretty simple part. So the pre-chorus is a big movement thing there in the whole song. I think it's probably the kind of maybe one of the most interesting parts of the song. That's the pre-chorus to the Wizard of Menlo Park into the chorus. Uh, if you're liking these videos, uh, give me a thumbs up. Definitely uh, subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, don't forget to check out the single Wizard of Menlo Park from the upcoming record Cautionary Tales. It'll be due out in February. Thanks for the response yesterday to this video. It's probably the most watched thing I've done since I started doing any of this stuff. So I appreciate y'all. Hope you have a good day. Talk to you soon.